Hi, it's Tracy. G'day, and that's Elsie. And welcome to our global travels, where one and a half of us are going to show you how to have a great time anywhere in the world. Lots of food, adventures, fun things to see and do. Trains, planes and automobiles, whatever it is, we're going to have a go. So make sure you subscribe to our series. Have a great one. Bye. Well, right now, I want to be bringing in to the disabled bathrooms or the accessible bathrooms, whatever they like to call them, in the Clonus Lounge in Melbourne. And there is lots of room here. I'll show you all around in a minute, but one of the big questions I can ask is how do I go to the bathroom? Now, I'm not going to actually strip off my clothes and show you what I have to do, but I can quickly run through it with you. So, I'm coming to the bathroom as I well, remove my bandage and sunglasses, and then I will pop off my board, gently tilt it on the side so it doesn't roll around everywhere. Move towards the toilet now. I would be always looking at the floor to make sure that there is no dribble or horrible things on the floor as well as there's nothing worse than stepping in someone else's bed. It's a horrible, disgusting, filthy thing. And people wonder why I don't like to use public toilets. Because I actually have to lie down on my back like so. I have to get undressed, take all my gear off, Get up, climb up, onto the loo, just like so, do my business, okay, and I finish, I'm going to back here, under the floor, lie down, lay on some toilet paper, And I'm fold up, not a stranger. So fold up and then do my business. And then discard it into the toilet. That is how I use the toilet in the bathroom. So please, 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 if you do dribble on the floor or whatever it might be, takes 10 seconds. One up. Not just for me, but the person that may use it after you, maybe in a similar situation or in a wheelchair, there's nothing worse than going to put away a disabled toilet or any toilet in that room. And it's filthy, filthy, dirty. So let's keep them clean, guys. Now let me show you what is in this great disabled toilet. It's fantastic. So just over this side, I'll just move the camera. Let me show you what sort of facilities they have in the accessible bathroom. It's really fantastic. Now, what I like, especially what was done here, they put the door controls by the toilet. In some accessible toilets, they actually put them by the door, and that's a horrible place to have them. You don't want to stand by the door when the door closes. So they've got over there out of the way, which is fantastic. They've got the great rail around the toilet as well. Sometimes I choose to use that, sometimes I don't, but it's good to have. And if you have a look on the back of the toilet, they've got the back ways. Now for me, I actually don't, it doesn't bother me too much whether I have them or not, so. But a lot of people do need to have them. People that have weak backs or weak spines, they need to lean back on something. The sitting up straight actually helps your poo, did you know that? The straighter you sit, the better you do. There you go, there's something you've learned today. So let me show you the shower thing here. There we are there. Now they've got the grab rail as well and a little seat. And the seat does fold up and down and falls a bit, so they careful. So it does lift. Oh, I thought I'd lift it up and down, but maybe it doesn't. It's pretty heavy. And they've also got the shower on, on a, uh, a railing. They've got the, uh, the soap and the shampoo and everything else down low there as well. Now, I have no idea whether the person that had a shower in here before I came in was uh, disabled by next switch leak, which is pretty wet there. But I, I just want to show you something. Look how high 
the shower head is. Okay, it needs to be all the way down. If you're in a wheelchair, or if you're a little person, or a midget, or, or like me with no legs, there's no way that you can reach that. No way in the world. So you have to call someone to give you an hand, which, you know, I don't mind doing that, but it's all about independence, okay? It's all about independence. So that, that makes it a little bit awkward as well. And the big thing is too, is that people think that you need to have a shower on a cord for the disabled bathrooms. But let me tell you, well, we hope you've enjoyed that video. Make sure you click subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we post. Tune in on all my social media and I'll see you then. Cheers.